Hello and welcome to another paint with me web session something or another. Um, I again want to apologize for Monday. Um, it was a very mm, difficult mental state I was in so there was it was best that I didn't join. So, hopefully three videos today made up for that. Uh, it has been quite a week. I had, I have had, the, I have a whole week off. And I missed a couple from the last time. Oops. Um, anyway, I have the whole week off. Um, and... It's been rather warm, especially warm for uh, New York. That does not work. All right. I am trying to work on my painting, apparently. I need more wax. Um. Sorry, slightly distracted. So yeah, this week's been a little hard on me. It, it's more of a mental state than anything really. Nobody's fault but my own damn physiology and my own damn head. Um, and I swore, and I apologize for that. Uh, I don't think I want to restart this video, even though I haven't even started my painting. So, anyway, I apologize for that. In any case, um, besides that issue, trying to get the pinks, the extra pink stuff out, that's why it's taking me so long, uh, there was no Dungeons and Dragons this weekend, uh, personal stuff happened between the whole family nothing bad just personal stuff and I'm sure they don't want me to announce everything so um hopefully this weekend we'll have it um so I've been free to basically do as I please oh my gosh that's a scary thought right there right so I've been mostly playing video games, but I've also been outside a lot, especially since it's been so nice and warm. My son's not liking it, let me tell you. He's kind of upset that I keep making him go outside and doing things when it's so hot. We actually managed to break a record for New York State, 91 degrees. On May, in May, I think it was yesterday, it was the 91 degrees. And that is something, that's for sure. Um, so, I didn't mean to move it. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little brain farty right now, I guess. It's just not a lot's been really happening. I've definitely been much more active, which makes me happy because that means I'm doing stuff and doing stuff is good. Um, I've been doing mostly walks and I got my bike back. I'm so happy. You don't know how happy I was when he pulled my bicycle out of the tons of other bicycles they'd been working on. I mean, it was a, a huge relief. And I've never felt this way about an inanimate object in my life. It was like a part of my family returned to me. And that's not something I normally feel for inanimate, in, in, inanimate objects. Um, so this is how much I missed my bike. I, I actually did, I got it yesterday and I did uh, ride it yesterday. So, oh, it felt so good. 
um, my ride was cut short because this simple somebody decided he was too tired because of the other day when we went to um, the pathways. We went to the pathways. We actually walked um, the two and a half miles to get there. Um, and the water was super cold. I wasn't going to get in. And I still don't plan on ever getting in. Mostly because I don't really like water I can't see out of and stuff like that. I might do it if somebody else does it with me. But I'm not a fan. And I need water shoes. Like bad for, for stuff like that. I, I just can't not, can't feel stuff on my feet. Blech. But uh, Orion enjoyed it. He, he actually waited in a little bit but he too needs water shoes he he doesn't like the feel of the the squishy algae stuff that's at the bottom so yeah he still had fun he enjoyed himself we we were there for an hour and we we didn't stay long especially when a huge crowd became came in and I'm just like, okay, well, it's definitely time to leave. I don't need nothing from nobody. So, we walked the uh, two and a half miles back home. And it was tiring, don't get me wrong. I mean, it only took us an hour to get home. Only an hour. I mean, it'd take us five minutes if we were in a car, right? But it only took us an hour to get home. But my son thought that because it was a huge walk for him that he needed to be tired for several days after that and I'm like no buddy you shouldn't be tired at all you're you're 12 you should be rearing to go for another round so that's something is that a blister on my finger oh gosh I have a blister on my finger I didn't even notice until just now oh well um, that's weird. Don't know where that came from. I noticed it on looking on the camera. I don't think you can really see it. It's right there. That's that's really weird. That kind of concerning, but I guess it's not like it doesn't hurt. So, um, anyway, I was just trying to be more active, trying to get my son to be more active. He'd rather sit down and play video games. I want him to get up and go. Like when I was a kid, I had to. I had no choice but to be outside because my parents would kick me out. If I did that to my son, oh my gosh, child abuse. Right? So. Gotta be careful. Now that's going to bother me. It looks like it was glue or something. I don't even know how that happened. Like, I don't have any other things on my fingers, so it's like strange. Didn't burn it, I don't think. Hmm. In any case, I will leave it to its own devices. But we did manage to get in a few walks today. A few walks. Did, did we get in a few walks today? I'm not sure. We did something today. Um, I know we took an, an afternoon, evening walk. He got angry at me because I had to be a mom and tell him he's got to buck up. And think about others. Think about what he needs rather than what he wants. Because... He's, his work ethic and stuff like that can be pretty, pretty low. And I'm just like giving him an idea that, hey, he could probably mow this person's lawn. It's like, heck no. I was like, why? He's like, I don't want to. I was like, you don't want to, but stuff like that, you, you, you're not going to want to work anyway. And he's like, well, I'm going to be an actor anyway. I'm like, you're still going to have to go to school for it. 
because you are not born an actor and you need you need to learn he's like well I know I need to go to college and I told him and I'm not gonna be able to pay for you to go so you're gonna have to pay for it yourself oh he got pretty gloomy over that I'm like I can't keep for a kid who is in the lower classes he is one spoiled brat. I really, really wish I didn't... I, I don't know what I did to make him spoiled. Um, pretty... He's, he's never wanted for much, so that's probably why. And he's always, well, I don't like this, and whatever. I get upset, and he goes without sometimes, but... I guess I'm too nice of a mom. Who knows? In any case, it's just, it's definitely been a rough couple days for me, mostly, because I'm, I'm just, mm. be nice to have friends sometimes. Like, well, not like that. I, I have friends. It's just, most of them don't really talk to me except for the one person who actually watches this. <laughs> um, so it's just daunting. It's a daunting feeling to know that people who say you're they're you're they're your friends, and you know I don't I don't have that experience normally. So, um, so I'm a for forget kind of person. As soon as I'm uh, out of sight, out of mind. That's it. Out of sight, out of mind. If I'm no longer in that person's sight, I'm, I'm not in their head. I don't want someone to think about me 24-7. That's ridiculous and annoying as fuck, I'm sure. Oh, Cracker Jacks. <sighs> I'm sorry. This is how stressed I am that I keep slurring. Um, I will keep going. I I made it this far, <laughs> but I guess it's just inevitable. I'm. <sighs> I will do better. In any case, uh. So. I am enjoying the new paintings that I'm getting, even though I have yet to even start them because I'm still doing this one painting, which is going to take me forever. But that's okay, because it's worth it. This painting is so worth the aggravation and <sighs> tedium. Sometimes it's, it's it's a little tedious sometimes because I do do some without um, off camera because I don't always want to be on camera and I do want to get this done sometime. So I started reading book with my son. Um, I forgot what it was called. Give me a second. I'm gonna go check it up. It's called The Land of Stories. Um, it's by Chris Colfer, and it's a pretty good book. It's it's very witty, and I like it. It's it's a good book, especially for children. Um, not really young children because it is a chapter book, so it's more like um, ages ten and up, to where they can focus on what you're reading without having to have pictures and stuff. But it is a definite good read. Um, it's our third time trying to read it through. We, we don't always keep our uh, reading schedules, I guess. But we really do. It, it needs to be done. We need to read more. Because reading is life.
$37.87. There's only like two of these. One. Two. Is there any more? I don't see any more. Oh, sorry. Alright, there we go. Uh, so it's it's about fairy tales, which is nice. Um, I'm eighty six, and uh, I mean, it's a little cliche, like you know, I've I've seen stuff like it before. Um. Definitely reminds me of the Tenth Kingdom. If you guys have never heard of it, look it up. That is an amazing show, and I'm pretty sure it's based off a book, which is probably even better. I have that on my wish list on my am my Audible, but I have yet to get it because I've got other things on my wish list as well, and it's just yeah, hard to get through my wish list. I've got several hundred books that I want to read so bad. Uh, triangle. 3386. Is it 33? 3346. There we go. Be nice if I read it right. Um, but yeah, the Tenth Kingdom amazing must must read watch kind of thing it is definitely a good show it was a mini series and my parents actually recorded it and i watched it so many times it used to be on netflix but it's no longer on netflix i don't know it might be on hulu i'm not a hundred percent sure just gotta look for it great great short mini series and yes it does end in in a, in a way that is an ending and not a cutoff to where it was supposed to be a longer series but it just never caught up no it's it actually ends and it's it was awesome and for a um low budget show it was pretty decent like i mean there had to have been special effects anyway but they did a, a decent job to where it was it was, uh, I wouldn't say believable, but it was more, that's pretty neat, and yeah, I can see that happening, kind of thing. Um, so, it was an awesome time, job. But yeah, that's that book reminds me of the Tenth Kingdom, even though it, its aspects are a little bit different. Um, they both go to a fairy tale world, in which there's, of course, the fairy tales from Br Brothers Grimm as well as Hans Christian Andersen's. So, um, I believe well, the Tenth Kingdom was only the Brothers Grimm, while the um, Land of Stories is both Brothers Grimm and Hans Christian. So, that's nice. And it makes me really want to read those two books. <laughs> um, not books, but those two um, authors and read their stories. Um, well, m more than one author obviously wrote the Brothers Grimm, but that's to be that's to be expected since brothers. Haha. -ha. Anyway, which I have both um, books. Uh, they're definitely in my library. They're physical books, and they're well written and easy to read. Sorry, I had to check. Oh goodness, it's been a long day. I also rode my bike today four and a half miles. Um, so I'm. There is this one person who has been writing over 
three miles and up for over a thousand days. I'm in awe of that person as just like, I want to do that. I want to see how many days in a row I can actually ride my bike. Pretty sure I'm going to miss one or two days. I, I would love to be as committed as that. Um, that would be awesome. But with work and kid and life in general, it, it makes it slightly more difficult than expected. On. But I uh, I do love my bike. Huh. <laughs> With obvious, which which is obvious considering my prior comments about it. Uh. So yeah. My paintings are going pretty nice. Well, this painting is going decently. Um, ooh, I did it again. I'm sorry. I keep knocking it because of the... Um, whatchamacallit? The stand kind of knocks it around. So I'll try to get it back. But... Um, I'm kind of excited to see more and more get done. Um, I added to my repertoire this, which you roll and keep them from popping up too much, as well as this, which is more made for the squares than the circles, but it's easier, easy to, to get them on straight if you like that, and then you just put it on sometimes or, or push up stuff like that it, it's a nice little tool um, but definitely made more for the squares than it is for the circles oh goodness six four to seven Yep, I've been getting over 10,000 steps a day. I've lost at least two pounds already. Um, it's not like I, I lost it forever because, you know, with, with only two pounds, you, you can gain it back easily, especially if you just stop. But I'm not stopping, so we'll see how that goes. I, I would love to put in some cardio uh, in the mix to work on my my flabby belly and my my fatty legs don't say they're not I already know they are and they need to be worked on I know they're not the fattest and I'm not saying they are they just need to be worked on that's all I'm definitely missing Taekwondo so bad um, I'm pretty sure all of my um, friends there miss it too and I know my instructor is going crazy and not and wishing he could teach the class and see all of us and I'm pretty sure he's going crazy and not because he's a McDojo because he actually does not um, do it for the money because it's $50 a month three times a week that is an amazing amount of money for um, something like that. Usually it's over a hundred dollars just to a month just to be in it. So I am very thankful for that and I can't wait to restart. I'm just so so anxious to go back. Um, yeah, it's just, it's been too long. It's been over two months. I have been doing some practicing. Um, definitely working on my forms. Trying to work on my stances and stuff. Um, and my punches and my kicks. And trying to stay limber with stretching and 
it's just it's a lot and it's better when you're with other people because it's easier to um, do what your instructor tells you as opposed to trying to do it all yourself because you know that that mindset uh, tends to lag a little bit Yeah. Nice. Thirty forty one. So I finished Grey's Anatomy season. I think it was 16, um, the last season on Netflix. And of course, I want to see more and I can't because obvious reasons. There is no more on Netflix. 7.34. Ooh, I don't think I've really used this one. Maybe I have a little bit. So, I finished binge watching that. Oh, I got another U. Darn it. What was the U? Um, and of course, I like other people's dramas, not my own. Just keep keep me out of everybody else's drama. Um, but I like. TV drama, I guess, and it keeps me <laughs> well seated, I guess. Um, definitely don't need it in real life for myself, uh, even though I know I have some drama. Try not to, try to stay away from it as much as possible, but you know how life is. <clears throat> I am doing the ears. Yay! 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 743. Lots of teas, including two teas that I missed prior. So that's been exposed for I don't know how long. Hopefully it'll stick. Yay, it sticks. Alright. Uh. So I am also binge watching Shameless. It's a very, very bad TV show for anybody who would rather not, uh, who'd ra rather keep their childhood innocence, I guess, like any kind of slight innocence. It is, um, it's a, it's a pretty much about the slums in, in the south side of Chicago and yeah what, what they would do to keep afloat kind of thing and it's just ugh, it makes me want to strangle people and by people fictional characters who do stupid stuff but um, I definitely need more things to watch. Uh, the last Avatar, um, last Airbender, Avatar: The Last Airbender, the show, not the, um, n not the not movie. <laughs> that that I I watched only part of it and I gave up on it. It was just terrible. Um, the TV show is actually on Netflix and. I was watching it, but I don't like how they have it formatted, and I have my own set in which I'd like to watch. So, that I might binge watch again, too. Uh, and my friend, wink wink, want, is um making me want to get the Friends s series, because that's a good series and well worth to me and some other people might not be for some people to me worth watching over and over again because it's good at least yeah I shouldn't repeat myself so 
So yeah, there's... I, there's a lot of things I want to watch and a lot of things I want to do and a lot of things I want to see and I want to be out all the time. It's just, ugh. There's just not enough time in a lifetime to do all the things you want sometimes. So you do what you can and enjoy what you got, right? Like sleeping in a hammock at your parents' place because you can't go to a campsite. Although I heard that campsites were being opened next month or was it this week I can't remember it's something um, but um, they're booked and stuff like that and I only have one campsite that I booked this year and it's in Ju July and hopefully I can still make it I haven't gotten a call saying it was cancelled so, but also haven't called them to see, and I'm not sure if they're even there because of the quarantine. Get all these teas done. All right, so um, this has got to be the end of it because I went over and I didn't even notice. Have a great night, and I will talk to you on Friday.